Hello, my name is Nadezhda Dabrianskaya. I am a solutions engineer at Magnitude. And today what I want to talk about is how to set up the client portion of our gateway embedded product. And then after, what I'm going to showcase is how to use SaaS access and ODBC to gain connectivity to a RESTful data source. For the purposes of today's video, we have already installed all components of Gateway. So we have the client Gateway installed on this machine. We also have the Gateway Management Server and the Adapter Server installed on other machines. We have added the various adapters and set up the Gateway DSNs. Gateway DSNs are a little bit different than the regular DSNs, and we will talk about it in a little bit. So first thing is first. What we have to do is connect the client to the management server. This can either be done through the user interface or using command line. Let's look at the UI first, called Gateway Settings. Here we see the home page. In this case, it is the magnitude content, the management server, as you can see here, no management server. We can add it here, but for the purposes of today's demo, we're going to use command line. The settings are used to specify certificates for SSL. Okay, let's connect our client to the management server using command line. First, we need to navigate to where the client setup executable is located. And we just run client setup.exe setup. This is to set up SSL. No security is important, and we encrypt communication between various gateway components. No for system trust store, location where the certificate is located, yes for hostname mismatch, and yes for self-signed certificate. Success, we have added our certificate. Now to add the management server, let's execute client setup.exe add GMS. and type in the host of the management server 192.168.222.45 and port 1970. Success. So what just happened? Well, let's go back to gateway settings. Ah, the navigation bar now looks different. First, we have our management server we have just added. Also, it is selected below. We can see the various adapters which have already been installed on the adapter server. Thus, as you can see, this is a perfect example how Gateway decouples connectors from the application. The client, which as I'm showcasing here, sits with the application and the connector, i.e. the adapters, can sit somewhere else. The adapters can also be managed by IT. And of course, one more thing, we have our gateway DSNs. So why did we add the management server to the client using command line? Well, we wanted to showcase how all the components of gateway, from the management server to the adapter server to the licensing of the adapter, can be done through the command line. So back to GDSNs, gateway DSNs. What is so special about them? Well, everything is already set up for me. I can add gateway DSNs myself or IT can set this up in one place. Example, let's navigate to the Marketo dev account. The primary tab of the UI outlines all the required items to establish a connection. Other tabs available to add other driver options specific for this connector. So one item to note, okay? The gateway DSNs are shared between all users. So what does this mean? Well, I can see the credentials used for the Marketo dev account because this account is actually shared for development. Now, let's take a look at Hector's Marketo account. Looking at the client ID and client secret, these are missing, which means that I cannot see Hector's credentials, but Hector can either add them during the regular DSN setup or provide them as part of the connection. What else do we have here? We have a Loqua, 
Salesforce, which I will demo with a little bit later, we can also add new GDSMs by clicking the plus icon. This will bring up a window showing which adapters are installed with this management server. For example, we can see Concur and Twitter ads. But I'm not going to bore you with setting up a new GDSN. Instead, let's get to the fun part, running it as an ODBC driver in SAS. So how do we do that? During the client install of Gateway, we provide you with a universal ODBC and JDBC connectors. Let's just take a moment. So far, we have added only the adapter and the GDSN. But what we're saying is that utilizing this, you can now either use ODBC or JDBC API to connect. For the remainder of this demo, we are going to focus on ODBC. Let's open up our trusted ODBC administrator and add what I call as regular DSN. Here we have the Magnitude Universal ODBC driver. I'm going to connect Salesforce because it is a great way to showcase a smart adapter. Here's all the GDSM we saw earlier in Gateway Settings. And let's just do a quick test connection. Success. And now the real fun begins. Let's start up SAS. And I'm going to execute a call connecting to the DSN that we just set up, the regular DSN, Gateway Salesforce demo here and call SQL tables for the Salesforce adapter that we have. So our Salesforce adapter comes with two schemas, all right? There's the regular Salesforce schema outlining all the tables in Salesforce based on the account and the smart adapter schema. Simba P26 represents the regular Salesforce schema. And as you can see, we have 468 tables. The second schema, which is called V Gateway, represents smart views. For example, we have closed opportunities, open opportunities, and things like sales representative matrix. We want to utilize these views and we want to extract a list of all the closed opportunities in Q1 of this year. We created a select statement from the closed opportunities intelligent view focusing on one opportunities looking at specific dates of Q1. So let's just execute the proper calls. It'll just be a minute. Okay, perfect, we have it here. So here we can see things like opportunity owner name, uh, things like an opportunity type, if it's a renewal or a new logo and other items associated with a closed opportunity. And now finally, remember when I went through the process of using command line? Well. It's not just the installation and the configuration, which can be done without a UI. It is the connection also. We're going to bypass the GDSN and the DSN and use the adapter directly. So how do we do that? Well, we connect using the Magnitude Universal ODBC driver. We also utilize the Salesforce adapter directly we indicate which gateway management server needs to be utilized. We pass in UID and the password. So let's just execute. Let's just look at the results. We can see here that we are able to access the data from this specific account. This brings us to the end of the demo. And just to do a quick summary of what can be accomplished with Gateway. 
Number one, there's flexibility. There's flexibility in how customers use Gateway. The customer can choose to use the user interface or every component of Gateway can be added through command line. Number two, decoupling of the connectors from the application. So adapters can be installed separately on a different machine and by a different person. Number three, the ease of not having to set up a DSN from scratch. IT can have a central location where they manage these DSNs for the end users. And of course, number four, there's ODBC and JDBC API connectivity with the single adapter setup. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video.